what is going on youtube it's your boy spanko and today as you guys can see on the screen here um this is kind of special so this is a pokemon collection from my childhood and i think you guys can see here a couple cards already these are all like really vintage i think most of them are going to be around the gen 2 gen 3 era i don't think there's going to be any base set stuff in here i might be wrong though um but i found this collection i don't even know how much it's worth maybe i'll put it in the uh title of the video if uh if i can figure out how much it's worth but i'm i'm super excited to show you guys this now if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe for more pokemon content if i keep looking this way it's i'm just making sure everything's recording but um yeah this is a new setup for me by the way as well so it might be a little weird at first but uh we'll get used to it so i'm excited we're gonna go right into it and we're starting off here with the venusaur i can't remember what all these sets are i know this is pop series i know this one is from pop series hollow venusaur I think it's number, yeah, it's Pop Series 2. Now, I should mention, I don't believe these cards are going to be in, like, near mint condition and whatnot. I mean, it makes sense. These are old, like, from, like, my childhood. But there are some super, super cool cards here. So you guys can automatically see, like, just from the first page, you got these two from EX Team Rocket Returns. You got the King of the Dark Ampharos. Um, I don't remember exactly all of these. This is Pop Series 4, Machamp from EX Power Keeper. So you guys can see, this is, like some vintage vintage stuff and i'm not gonna lie it might hold value i think because of the damage it might not be as valuable as you know obviously like it's obviously not as valuable as near mid cards but um yeah i feel like just the damage is gonna make it hard because you can't really grade any of none of these are really gradable here unfortunately um it's very unfortunate but uh yeah we got the machamp here i like these e-series cards i remember growing up and i used to love these e-series cards i'm actually kind of excited to see a lot of these this one's from neo uh genesis I believe Steelix Hollow, but again, first of all, there's a big dent here. I don't know if you guys can see the dent on the camera, but there's a really big dent here on the front. Um, maybe you guys can see it on the back. Yeah, you see that white line? It's hard to show you. And there's like whiting all over the edges. So the card's damaged, unfortunately. But Neo Neo Destiny, Neo Destiny, Neo Genesis, Neo Genesis. I think this is Neo Genesis. Got a shift tree over here from EX Legend Maker. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a little bit of glare. Um, but we got a shift tree over here. The Metagross, the Beautifly. Again, most of this Gen 2, Gen 3 stuff. Over here, we got... Uh, these three are really cool. The Gen 3 starters, always, like, some of my favorite. My favorite starters, actually, of all time, funny enough. Got the couple tops here from EX Legend Maker. I think these are the reverse foils. So, like this, um, the shift tree over here. I think these count as the reverse foils in these sets. And I really liked how they used to do this. It's kind of unfortunate that they do, don't do this anymore, to be honest with you, because I really like this. Um, I guess this is Gen 4. Yeah, I guess this is Gen 4. So, I guess some of it leaks into Gen 4, but I don't think anything comes after because gen after gen 4 i didn't really play or i didn't even collect too much until recently again so uh butterfree here is really cool though butterfree hollow but the electivire what's really cool though is we got the gardevoir here there's actually a really big swirl so it's actually kind of damn sorry I, I think i was looking at it but if you guys can see right there there's a really nice swirl on it there's a really nice swirl on the hollow but again the card's just damaged it has whiting all over the edges as you guys can see yeah you guys can probably see that all that whiting and stuff which makes it super unfortunate. This card would have been really cool if it was near mint. But I mean, I mean, it's cool regardless, to be honest with you. Um, but you just can't get like anything like this graded, unfortunately. I mean, yeah, we are definitely leaking into Gen 4. We got a Giratina here. Here are some pretty cool stuff over here. So we got a Meganium. This one's a non-hollow. The Team Aqua's Kyogre is really, really cool here. Um, I don't think there's much else on this page, to be honest. It's really cool. Um, even this page is not that nice. I mean, this is from the movie promo, I believe, the Dragonite. Um, the Wigglytuff here, again, is EX Crystal Guardians. And again, like, I just love these reverse foils because these packs were really worth it to buy at the time if you think about it like this is what a reverse foil was it's not like what we have now so i wish we had like reverses like this now i i don't know i don't it's not that i don't like the reverses anymore like these are the reverses i think that started in gen 4 i believe they started it they started doing this and then this is pretty much what we've had since then um but i really like these these are these are hella cool i like the stamp especially and i think a lot of them are actually worth more than the hollow foil version of the card this page is not that, like, too crazy this page is super cool though so we have the crowbat over here obviously a hollow and i'm looking for if there's any swirls or anything yep there's one right up there oh you guys can see that oh that's beautiful where'd it go where'd it go there it is oh that's a beautiful 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 card over there we got the uh tropius which this card is absolutely destroyed you guys can see it like it's bent it's like fully bent on here um but again like look at the ex deox look at the reverse foil man i wish pokemon still kind of did this like this is so cool again not one of my favorite pokemon but just the fact that the reverse is so cool we got the blossom here they're, they're all kind of like damaged i'm not gonna lie don't expect anything to be super like super um good mint condition this one especially this is the legendary collection too i think 
Legendary Collection? Not two. Legendary Collection. Alakazam, but this one's destroyed. Like, you guys can clearly see that, like, this card is from all over. It's just gone. Man, I wish. Imagine these were in great condition. Could you imagine the money would be sitting on if these were in great condition? But the thing is, since I brought that up, I should mention, like, bro, not this isn't really about money, like, to be honest with you. Like, a lot of this is just for nostalgia. I don't know if you guys can see this for because my face cam. Got three Espeons over here, non hollow but they are Espeons, which is really cool. We got another Blossom here, but this one's a not reverse. Other ones are reverse. We got the Wobbuffet from Power Keepers and Legend Maker over here. Both hollows, but actually not hollows. They're the reverse hollows, but again, the reverse hollows on these are really, really cool. Uh, the Crawdon, we got the Dark Sloking, which is really nice. I actually kind of want to take a look at this. Is it decent condition? No, it's not at all. Good condition. It's really damaged. Actually, it's starting to peel on the side too. That's unfortunate. Let me see if I can get this back in here without damaging it more. Lapras from Legend Maker here as well. That's super epic. Like, these are so cool, man. I won't lie. These are some of the coolest cards. And I know it's like not even the nostalgia factor. Yes, of course, the nostalgia factor is there. But what's crazy to me, or what I like, to be honest, the most is the fact that it's like the card design, just what they wanted to do with cards back then was so cool. And I wish they kind of kept that same approach. Here's a Ninetales reverse. I really like the artwork on this card. This one is actually not in the worst shape. It has whiting on the um, on the top and stuff. Yeah, you guys can see that, right? Yeah. So it has whiting and stuff, but it's actually not in the worst shape. There's no dents I don't see. Yeah, there's no dents. There's no... Eh, it's not the worst. I mean, again, probably still not gradable condition. The nice thing is if you are grading stuff like this, there's nothing really else on this page. Um, if you are grading stuff like this and you don't expect it to get high grades, it's more just because... Uh, you want to grade it for your own thing. So there's nothing really here either. The Raikou is pretty cool though. This one is Neo Discovery. This one's Neo Discovery, I'm pretty sure. Oh, this one's destroyed though. It's beat up. And this one's not a hollow. I'm pretty sure this also comes in a foil. I believe it comes in a foil as well. Because I think that's what they did with those sets, right? You can get cards in foil and on foil. Might be wrong, but I, I swear that I, I could swear there's a foil in there. But anyways. Here is a pretty nice page to be honest with you. So we're starting off with the E-Series Raichu over here, which I just thought the artwork on this card is insane. But we do have a Legend Maker Mew. Again, kind of damaged, unfortunately. But look at the reverse, man. Like, yeah, like you guys can see the whiting on this right here. Yeah, you guys can see the whiting. But look at the reverse. Like the reverses, to be honest, look better than a lot of hollows do today. There's no swirls or nothing I can catch on this one, at least. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can catch on this one. But this one is beautiful. I wish this card was in near mint. If this one was in near mint, I'd probably get something like this graded. But uh, yeah, just unfortunate. The Deoxys here is really cool. I just always found like it's funny because I don't think Deoxys is one of my favorite Pokemon. But Deoxys cards are always so cool looking. Yeah, this one also has like the whiting problems. They all probably just have whiting problems, actually. Like some of them are dented up and stuff, but most of them just have like a lot of just whitening on them. Just I guess from age and maybe just mistreating them. Porygon 2 over here is a reverse as well, which is really nice. Again, just like look at these Deoxys cards, man. Like the artwork on them is just insanely beautiful. Now these I don't think are foils. Yeah, they're not foils, but they still I think look really, really cool. Now the Delta Species stuff is really cool. This is like kind of where I think I stopped collecting really. Like after the Delta Species stuff, I think that's where it kind of ended the Gen 3. And then we went to Gen 4. Uh, we do got the um, Sunny cast form and the Snow Cloud cast form over here, which are really, really cool. Again, reverses, but look at the EX Delta Species. Like the logo on them, the stamp is just so nice. Now, there's nothing really on this page, but I should mention, I don't think there's anything on this page, but there's this Charmeleon right over here. And I forget which set this is from, but it's a secret rare. It's 110 out of 109. Is this Team Rocket Returns? I think, I believe this is Team Rocket Returns. Um, again, it just has whitening on the bottom of it. I don't know if you guys can see actually the whitening properly on this, but it just whitened. But if, if this didn't have whitening on it, this would be like pretty valuable honestly and you could probably like i again i would probably get a lot of these graded if i had the i mean i guess i do have the opportunity but you know what i mean like if i had if these were in mint condition better condition i would get these graded just for myself even just for my own collection but it's really cool to see like this is what binders were like when we were kids like this is nostalgia to the next level like this is actually just what i had what i did when i was a kid i bought packs i bought cards and i put them all in a binder and this one's really cool the team magma houndoom is really really cool houndoom is one of my favorite pokemon um, I think you can kind of see a swirl right over there where my finger is. I don't think it's a full swirl, though. I might be wrong. But, uh, yeah, this card, again, just has white. It suffers the same issue. Every single one just has white on the edges. If it wasn't for that, this card would be pretty. This card is actually in really good condition outside of the whitening. So, um, yeah, this one is from, obviously, team, yeah, the Team Aqua, Team Magma. Dark Electrode from EX Team Rocket Returns. Beautiful, beautiful card. Absol from Hollow Phantoms. Like... These are insanely nice. I'm sorry for the glare. I know there's glare on this side. I'm not really sure why that is, but there's it's pretty good on the rest of it, I think. Um, we've got some unknowns here, which are pretty cool. Raincast form. We've got Electabuzz over here, which is a reverse rare. Again, the reverse rare is just beautiful cards. 
Um, over here we got nothing really, but over here we do have a Heracross, which is super damaged. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm gonna show you guys. So maybe you guys can see the angle where it's like dented. I don't know if you guys can see the angle. Yeah, but it's dented from the back as well. You guys can see that there. You guys can see the white. But it also has a big, big dent running right through here. I want to see if I can get that on camera, actually. Oh, you guys can kind of see it right now? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's unfortunate. Neo... Neo Destiny, I believe. Neo Genesis. Neo Genesis. Not Neo Destiny. Neo Genesis. I keep getting the Neo sets mixed up. We got some Sableye reverses over here. We do have the Jirachi over here. It's a non holo but I mean, still a Jirachi, which is really cool. Um, it doesn't seem to be like there's anything on this page. These are all the energies from the EX sets. I remember the EX sets did these energies. They did these like reverse rare energies. They're not secret rares, but I think they would always be the last like three or four cards in a set. They would just put these in here. There's a lot of those over here, Hollow, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah, these are really cool energies. Yeah, here comes Team Rocket. This one is a foil, but it's uh, damaged, unfortunately. Oh, no, these are some cool cards. So here we have a lot of ass over here, just like the lot of on the other page. Some more energies. Um, but look at these. Look at these. So these, I believe, are like Aquapolis, either Aquapolis, Expedition, or um, what's the other E-Series one? Is it just E-Series base set, and then Expedition, and then Aquapolis? I think so. But you got the Steelix and the Kingdra, which I want to take out both of them over here. We also have base set Raichu, which is really, really cool. Base set Raichu, one of my favorite, well, one of my favorite Pokemon in general. But here's the Steelix. I really love this Steelix artwork, but actually probably one of my favorite Steelix artworks of all time. Um, I love this card. But again, the problem with it is just, again, the, the white everywhere. Like, there's white everywhere on this card. I don't see any major dents. Um, actually, if I even take a look at it real close, I don't even think there's many scratches on the surface, funny enough. Yeah, it actually doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look look too, too bad. I really like this card. Um, and then the Kingdra as well. This one is a little bit more damaged, though. Um, you guys probably can't see it, but there's actually a dent running right through here. Kingdra, again, beautiful card. The artworks on in this era, again, this is probably my favorite, like, card arts and, and just the way they design cards was just amazing in this era, in my opinion. I know base set gets a lot of hype, but I'll be honest, I don't like base set stuff too much. This Raichu is pretty cool, but, like, I don't like base set stuff too much. Like, the thing with base set is it's just the original Pokemon, which I understand that's why it's, it's so valuable and it's so sought after, but it's just more like the artworks were very basic. Like, this is a cool Raichu, sure, but, like, even this, I think, is just a lot cooler. Even this is cooler. Um, I don't know. I just I feel like the artwork, even like this Venusaur looks super cool with the with the Pokeball in his hand. Um, yeah, and then we got a Beedrill Hollow over here. I think this one, this one is from Expedition, I believe. I think these two are, are Aquapolis. Sky Ridge, maybe? Sky Ridge? Maybe. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, over here we got an Electabuzz and a Rhydon. I think you guys can see that on the bottom of the screen. Nothing too crazy. Here we have some empty pages. This is really cool. We got some Delta Species Pokemon over here, which are super, super dope. I always really like the Delta Species. The Typhlosion here is hella cool. Um, but beat up on the top. I think you guys can see it from this angle. Yeah, there you go. You guys can see that big dent right over there. Yeah, it's unfortunate that it's dented up. Yeah, and you guys can see it clearly on the back. Um, super unfortunate, but again, the cards are just hella cool, man. Imagine when we were kids, we knew about this stuff. We knew what these cards were going to be worth. Forget the value, actually. Just we knew to take care of our stuff. That would be super, super cool. Here is a Gyarados Delta Species. Actually, this one looks to be like... Hold on, I'm going to show you guys. This one looks actually in very good condition. I think there's a piece of, like, there's a little bit of whitening over there. I think you guys can see that. But this Gyarados actually looks like it's in very good shape outside of that white. It's a little bit off center. This one's cool, though. I really like this one. Actually, I'm actually very, I really like this one. This one's pretty cool. I'm going to put this over here, though, because it's, I don't know for some reason why it's on its own. Um... But yeah, we got some more cards actually back here. Uh, I don't think anything in here is actually valuable after this point. I think they're just a bunch of commons and uncommons and stuff that we just I just threw into the binder when I was a kid. Um, but we'll go through it real quick. So maybe if we find anything really cool. I already took a look into like through the binder because I got super excited. Oh, this is cool actually. Let me pull this out. This is cool. We got a War Turtle over here. Um, again, one of the EX sets. But War Turtle is hella cool. One of my. I mean, I think. I mean, yeah, it's it's damaged. You guys can see that and that over there. Um, but I actually think out of all the middle evolutions of Pokemon, because I feel like the middle evolutions of starters don't get enough love, and out of all the middle evolutions, I really think Wartortle and Grovile are probably the best two. Like, you could argue for some other ones, but I think Grovile and Wartortle are just probably just the best ones. Um, yeah, and then here's the rest of the thing. We got a bunch of Kolavas apparently, like we love Kolavas. So we got one here, and we got also one on this five page over here. Uh, this is from EX Team Rocket Returns, which is cool. Dark Pupidar. The Dark Pokemon were always really cool for me, um, so I like that. Yeah, there's nothing else. I don't think any of that's, that's too crazy. 
I'll just scroll through it so you guys can take a look for yourselves, what you guys think. Um, the Larion over here, again, reverse is just really cool. I just really like the reverses, how they used to do it in this era. The artworks are just so... Like, some of them are so simple, but just, I don't know, man. I, I just, I really love these artworks. They're just some of my favorite artworks ever. This is kind of like a, a blast from the past, I should say. I don't know how I'm going to title this video. Now that I'm, like, going through it, I actually don't know how I'm going to title this video. Maybe something like, found my old... Pokemon collection worth X amount. It's actually probably worth a lot of if, if these were near mint, it would be worth probably a lot of money, especially the the EX era stuff like the Aquapolis, uh, Sky Ridge expedition kind of stuff. This is a really cool Magma art. I know it's just a common. Um, I know I'm looking at it right here, but this is a really cool artwork. This is amazing. I don't even know what set this is. Like, okay, I, I forget what which one is which. I think this one is Aquapolis. I can't remember which um, symbols for which uh, EX set, to be honest. Um, but yeah, these are really cool. And then I think there's just some trainers here. Yeah, nothing too crazy over here. We do have over here on the back, though, a Blaine's uh, Trimander, which is really cool. It's not first edition, but it's still pretty cool. And I don't believe we have anything else. Yep, that's pretty much it for the binder. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. There's even some dirt from, like, a long time ago. I dug this up. This is hella cool. I'm just excited that I got to be able to show you guys this. This was my childhood. Um, and I guess you guys can see, like, most of it is, is, again, from starting at, like, late Gen 2, moving into, uh, like, Gen 3 and Gen 4. I think early Gen 4, I was out of it. Um, but yeah, late Gen 2, I guess I got a couple Neo Discovery and Neo Genesis stuff in here. But again, most of this is just EX era stuff, and just EX era stuff is just my favorite stuff. And it's the stuff I'm actually starting to collect again, funny enough. Now, what am I going to do with this binder? I'm not sure. I might just keep it, like, this intact, just to, you know... There's no point of like moving it. I don't know. So I might just keep it intact like this and just every once in a while I'll look back and be like This is what I had when I was a kid. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video Let me know what you guys think about my childhood binder Let me know if you guys had any childhood binders of yourselves that you guys still have um, To this day and you still look back at or even if you don't have it anymore Just let me know in the comment section down below what kind of cards you had when you were younger What kind of cards you collected what kind of cards you just love to have in your for yourself? Um, but yeah, that's really all I gotta say. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. But that's Banco signing out. Peace.